Right, so negative pH. Now this seems to be very very odd because right from our childhood we have been told that the pH ranges from 0 to 14 and many of our standard textbooks, if I talk about India, uh, NCRT, it shows that the pH ranges from 0 to 14. So how come, uh, you know, I am talking about negative pH? Does it exist? So theoretically speaking, yes, it is possible a negative pH can exist. And practically speaking, it, it is very, very common than you might have thought. Negative pH does exist and it is very common, right? So experimentally, uh, if I tell you commercially available HCl solution. So there is a HCl, uh, HCl 37% by mass. 37% by mass of HCl solution has a pH of minus 1.1. It has a negative pH. Similarly, saturated solution of NaOH, which is commercially available, has a pH of 15. Saturated solution of NaOH, which is commercially available, has a pH of 15. That means it's commercially available, it's commercially synthesized, and it is very common to have a pH, uh, you know, beyond the range, from 0 to 14. Like I just told you, 15 and minus 1.1. And uh, experimentally, uh, and you know, the pH lower than minus 1.1 has also been, uh, also been found out. In fact, it is, it, it, it is found in naturally occurring waters. So there is a hot spring in Ebeco Island, Ebeco Volcano. So there is an Ebeco Volcano, this is in Russia. And the hot springs uh, near this volcano have a pH of minus 1.7. So the hot springs uh, near the Ebeco Volcano in Russia have a pH of minus 1.7. And the lowest pH that has been uh, found out till now in nature is basically minus 3.6 the lowest pH that has been found out in nature has a has a pH of minus 3.6 and these have been found in waters in Richmond Cave waters in Richmond Cave in California Richmond Cave in California that is USA there the pH has been found to be as low as minus 3.6 right so it is very very common to have pH beyond the range of 0 to 14 it can be more than 14 it can be less than 0 Right, like I just uh, mentioned the, the examples. Now it, it is it is actually very uh, you know f very surprising that the standard textbooks also they show the pH scale as a as a close ended scale. What do I mean by a close ended scale? They show you this range from zero to fourteen, right? And in between there are some values. This is a close ended scale because it tells you that the pH range is only from zero to fourteen. Whereas if you see a very, really good book, uh, you know uh, like Many actually many good books also mention it in a close-ended form, but actually the correct way to depict the pH scale is like this in the open-ended form. Form, so you can show zero here, fourteen here, and then like this. So that means zero to fourteen is very very common, but it can also exist beyond uh, below zero and beyond fourteen. So this is the correct way to depict your pH scale, right? And uh, so I I think this this information might be useful to many of you. And uh, you know you could just share it amongst your friends. You should have discussions like these. You know, you know things like these, which are a little, uh, uh, you could say, uh, different from what what you study academically. Uh, and these kind of things do interest, do spark a slight interest in in, in me. Like uh, it does spark a interest in in chemistry for me at least. And I hope it does the same to you. So you should know some some fa facts like this. And if you actually do know some interesting facts you could just comment down below uh, these uh, okay and regarding this Richmond cave article uh, there was a this this was published in the year 2000 and then there's another article which is very well written on does negative pH exist that was published in 2006 in the uh, journal uh, uh, journal was journal of chemical education that is a very well reputed journal by American chemical society so I will uh, you know give the link to both the articles in the description box if you are interested, you can go ahead and look at it. Now, theoretically speaking, yes, a pH uh, uh, of a negative pH can exist. How? See, your pH is basically nothing but minus of log H plus, right? Uh, your pH is nothing but equal to minus of log H plus, right? So, if you want a pH to be greater less than zero, that is a negative. So, minus of log H plus should be less than zero because you want pH to be less than zero or a negative. That means log of H plus has to be greater than 0 or H plus should be greater than 1. That means that the concentration of H plus should be greater than 1. That means if you have 3 moles of HCl dissolved in let's say 1 mole of water, 
then the H plus concentration is going to be greater than one because HCl almost completely dissociates into H plus and Cl minus. So if you have uh, three moles of HCl, let's say in one mole of water, then obviously the concentration of H plus is going to be greater than one, and then you can have a negative pH. So unlike uh, many of you might have thought that negative pH does not exist, it in fact exists theoretically. I mean theoretically you can prove it does exist, and practically it is very very common to uh, encounter a pH greater than less than zero or greater than fourteen, right? So in this video, uh, I have busted the myth that the pH ranges from 0 to 14. It does in fact exist beyond that as well, right? So I hope this video was helpful and informative to you. Do like, share and do like and share this video uh, and have good discussions, you know, fruitful discussions, productive discussions with your friends, with your family, with your teachers. And I wish you all the very best.